Y'all, we're making crab cakes. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling low carb crab cakes. Stay tuned. All right guys, low carb crab cakes. Can it be done? Today we're gonna to find out by testing two very popular recipes online. Now the first of those is crispy keto crab cakes, and this is by the website healthyrecipesblogs.com. That's blogs with an S. And our second recipe is low-carb Key West crab cakes with mustard sauce, and this is by uh, foodnetwork.com, and it's uh, by Chef George Stella. He was one of the first folks with a low-carb cooking show uh, on, on television. So we're gonna try both of those today, but before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company with meal plans to fit a variety of lifestyles, including keto, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean. It's nice to have a fridge full of delicious meals that are ready to go. Now, the recipes are usually quick and easy, and there's a step-by-step -step instruction guide. You get a card with chef tips and photos to sort of guide you along the way. And what's nice is you really learn uh, how to combine flavors and textures that you probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise that you can then take and use in other dishes that aren't from Green Chef. So one of our favorite meals this week was the cumin spiced shrimp. Uh, this thing has roasted veggies and then you top it with cotija cheese and this beautiful creamy chimichurri sauce that's already prepared for you and ready to go. And then uh, the nice little toasted pepitas that are going top. This thing was delicious. And I'm really <laughs> kind of understanding now that I, I really enjoyed their seafood options. What's nice is that these uh, are all packaged and, and portioned out and ready to go. And often the sauces and seasonings are prepared for you already so that you, you, you can skip a step there and, and just get a meal on the table pretty quickly. So right now, Green Chef is offering a tremendous deal for you guys. If you'll go to greenchef.com and enter code highfalutin135, you'll get $135 off and free shipping on your first box. So thank you, Green Chef, for sponsoring this video. It's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air, and for that, I am truly appreciative. So guys, if you want to support me, go support them. Go to greenchef.com, enter code highfalutin135, and you'll get $135 off and free shipping shipping on your first box. All right, let's go make some crab cakes. All right, guys, let's get started on our first recipe. Again, this is Crispy Keto Crab Cakes by HealthyRecipesBlogs.com. As you know, all the links are gonna be down here on the screen and in the video description below, so I encourage you to go visit them there. All right, so we've got our crab, and um, it is fresh crab meat, and uh, crab right now, at least here in my area, is very expensive. Um, it, she uses fresh lump, uh, so I did actually a half and half of lump and claw meat just to make it a little more affordable. I actually like claw meat. It doesn't bother me at all. But what we're going to do is start with an egg uh, and um, lightly beat the egg and throw it in with our crab meat. This is going to make six uh, fairly normal sized um, crab, uh, crab cakes, and you'll see what I'm saying in a minute. And then also... Um, <laughs> I'm wearing a finger cot. I had a nasty uh, dog bite um, that has taken a month and a half to heal and I didn't want you to see it and I didn't want to get it in the food. So this is gonna be um, Dijon and mayonnaise. Wanna make sure you get it all out of there. And now let's just mix this up. And she says to press down and break up your crab meat, but mine isn't as lumpy and large and beautiful as hers was, apparently. And sometimes I actually, when eating crab cakes, it's nice to get into a big bite of a big chunk of crab. All right. Now, um, we're going to use the spices. This is garlic powder. She called for fresh minced garlic and my garlic cloves were, had already sprouted green and it's so bitter, I can't do it. So she, this is an approved substitution by the, by the author. Um, you can use a, a little bit of garlic powder. This is dried thyme. This is a little bit of cayenne pepper and a little bit of salt and all that goes in. And then chopped parsley, quite a bit of it. 
quite a bit of it. If you want to know again the exact amounts, you know my the the, the deal with my channel. I I think the, the the recipe developers they deserve the traffic, so I encourage you to go to their website, and um, that's why I don't give ingredients. But if you're a regular around here, you already know that. Okay, and now lastly, we're going to add in a little bit of um, almond flour, chopped almond. I mean, uh, um, finely shredded. I can't talk today. Finely ground <laughs> almond flour. And we're going to mix this together. Just use a fork. And I had actually already sifted that flour. Uh, it was a brand new bag, so I didn't actually have to do much work with it. Okay. Now, the little bit of the frustrating part of this for some is that this, these need to chill for uh, about an hour before... Um, they can go in the hot pan. So um, a little bit of a sacrifice there. But so what we're going to do is lay these out and make some room over here. And with a quarter cup scoop and um, immaculately clean hands, even, even if you have to wear a finger cot, <laughs> take out a, a quarter cup scoop. And we're trying to get um, we're trying to get six half inch patties out of this half inch thick. So um, this recipe had, and then we're going to lay them on parchment and they're very delicate. They're very delicate uh, right now, which is why they really need to go uh, in the fridge, right? Um, this recipe has the almond flour in it and the second recipe doesn't. And if you remember, um, I did a salmon patty, salmon croquette battle, uh, my, my, my recipe of it actually, it wasn't a battle. Um, and I'm curious if this comes out like that. I'll leave a link, one of these places up here for you to check it out. So I'm just gonna finish this out and be right back. All right, so as you see, we've got our six beautiful little patties. They're about a half inch, uh, half inch thick. These go on some uh, par parchment or wax paper, and then we're gonna loosely cover it with some uh, cling wrap, um, plastic wrap and this goes in the fridge for at least an hour and she said that is possibly the most important part of the recipe these are so delicate they're gonna fall apart if they're not chilled as soon as they go in the oil so what I'm gonna do is throw this in the fridge and I'm gonna get set up cleaned up and set up for our second recipe and I'll be right back here I'll see you in just a bit all right, guys, so let's get started on our second recipe. This is uh, low-carb Key West crab cakes, um, and it's on uh, the foodnetwork.com site, and it's by Chef George Stella, and apparently this is from the, his episode called Low Carb Party. So while our first recipe made six family size um, crab cakes, traditional crab cakes. This makes 18 miniature crab cakes that are, um, it says poker chip size. So it's obviously for hors d'oeuvres to be passed around. But I did read in the comments that uh, many people just made six uh, or uh, eight crab cakes, I think they said it made. Um, so we, you can do that too, but I follow directions as closely as possible. So I'm just gonna do it as he said. So this starts with double the crab meat of our other recipe here. And again, this is a mixture of uh, jumbo lump and um, claw meat. And this is literally just dump and go. There's no real order to anything. Um, it's a couple of eggs. Just get them beaten up real quick. And I may have, I may be setting myself up for failure here. I might need a larger bowl because this is going to get out of hand in a minute. Hold on. All right, to this we're gonna add a little bit of diced red and diced green bell pepper. Come on out of there. Jump back in the bowl. And some fresh parsley, not nearly as much as our other recipe, but apparently uh, it, it, it is important for the recipe to give it a, a nice flavor. And this is a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And lastly, uh, this is uh, baking powder, quite a bit of it. And then this is our spice blend. Um, it's a Maryland style crab um, spice. I use Old Bay. I think that's what most people would use. So in that goes over here. And then we're just gonna mix all this together. And then um, his recipe uh, instructions are, when you go over there to Food Network, you'll see it's pretty sparse directions. Um, he doesn't say how much the oil to use in the pan and all that jazz, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna just drop them in, 
get, get um, individually. But um, multiple people in the comments, he does not say to chill this either, but multiple people in the comments said um, it uh, held together better for them if um, it goes in the fridge for a little while. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix this up, cover it with cling wrap. This is going in the fridge. Um, we're almost to our time for uh, the hour that the other first recipe has chilled. And then um, I'm gonna come back, clean up, and get our hot pan going. And we're gonna fry up some crab cakes. So I'll see you guys back here in just a bit. All right, guys, we're back and it's time to fry these crab cakes. Now, um, these have been in for um, a little, about an hour, just, just shy of an hour. Um, and so we're gonna fry these in batches. I'm probably gonna do four based on the size pan that I have, and I'm gonna save the others to fry for my thumbnail photo. So let's get this over medium heat. And uh, we're just gonna, uh, so this is, um, she does a combination of olive oil and butter, equal parts, um, two tablespoons of each. And she admits that, uh, I say she, I don't know who this is. Um, I, I perhaps shouldn't um, assume. Um, they say that they uh, enjoy the flavor of the butter. The olive oil brings uh, down the smoke point, but we're not gonna go over the smoke point anyway, but it gives the flavor and that it's a lot of oil, but you need it to hold this together. Um, so I'm gonna cook four of these now. Let's get this butter melted and I'll come back in just a second. All right, looks like we've got a nice melty melt on that. So the hard part is I guess probably getting these off of this paper and keeping them held together. And I'm gonna gently with not my finger, with my finger caught. That's the last thing I need is get that melted to my hand. We'll bump this up just a little bit. And we're gonna do these four minutes on each side and um, flip them when you see the edges turn brown and then three to four minutes on the other side until they're cooked all the way through. And again, I'm gonna leave two for me to fry later um, for my uh, thumbnail photo. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so we're gonna let these cook and I know I keep mentioning it. Um, uh, in case you're wondering, no, I wasn't like attacked by a dog. Um, uh, it was my dog and um, a small, if you haven't seen my dogs, I'll, I'm sure you have. I'll leave a Q, I had a Q&A video and showed the dogs. Um, I just played with his favorite stuffed animal with him and I got a little too close and he, and it's, it's taken a month and a half to heal. So uh, anyway, long story short that I'm sure you don't care about, you wanna know about these crab cakes. So I'm gonna cook these down. Um, I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to watch it. <laughs> See, wild animals uh, barking at somebody in the hallway. So I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to watch it and um, I'll meet you right back here in just a second. Hush, Murphy. All right, so it's been about, um, about four minutes. This guy was a little bigger than the others. I had some leftover crab that I didn't wanna get rid of. And you don't want to keep flipping these up and down, but yeah, that looks good. So using a couple of spatulas is the easiest way to do it and the safest way. Um, I'm going to flip these over. Oh, yes, sir. They look good. May, may have cooked them a little too long on that side. Oh, no. He stumbled. Oh, see. Now, I'm gonna finish these out, um, cook these for um, uh, three to four minutes per side until they're done, and I'm gonna put them on this paper towel lined tray, and then we're coming right back and we're gonna fry up some of the um, other recipe number two. So I'll see you in just a bit. All right, guys, so we're back. Look at these beauties. I did four of them. The recipe is, like I said, six, but Ooh, doggy, that looks so good. So I'm gonna put those aside and um, we're gonna start straight away with the second recipe, the Key West um, uh, crab cakes. And um, I'm gonna get this pan hot and he doesn't, um, George Stella's recipe does not mention, it just says cook. Uh, he doesn't say like how much oil to use, uh, if it's just using a spray or what. So I'm just gonna use a little avocado oil here and we'll see where we get with that. Um, if I find that, that doesn't work, we'll start over and try something different. So I'm going to get this at the same temperature of, um, 
medium high and the pan is already hot because those literally just came off. And I'm just gonna do a few of these because um, there's 18 of them. And let's just admit it, crab cakes are best when they're hot. So um, I'll make a few of these for us to taste and then I'll um, uh, make the rest of these. Now, this came out of the fridge and I did remix it because some of the egg uh, and, and uh, crab juices settled to the bottom. And it says to use a, um, um, a teaspoon size and scoop a, what did he say, a coin sized, uh, a uh, poker chip sized dollop. And I'm gonna have to push them down, I think. Ooh, get over there. See, this is what I was worried about. Um, now, that, remember, there's no binder in this, but he said once the egg starts to cook, it will hold together. So that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> Um, this guy on the side is going to be a little big. And he doesn't say to push them down, but I mean, I think I have to. Boy, that one doesn't have, whoo, fingers, fingers, fingers. Okay, so I'm just going to pet these down a little bit. And let's see what happens here. If that doesn't work out, we're going to try something else. I'm going to wash my hands. And uh, like I mentioned, uh, many people said uh, in the comments, several people said that um, they just made them into regular sized you know, um, more like the ones we had just done and if you weren't having a part, low carb party. So I'm gonna um, cook these, I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch it. All right guys, so as you can see, both of our recipes are fried, they're hot, and they're ready to go. Um, I probably made these a little larger than he was expecting. I don't know if I could get 18 out of there, but, uh, but maybe so. And um, so let's see what they taste like. Now this is our first recipe, the large one's here, and this is the, um, uh, the Crispy Keto Crab Cakes by HealthyRecipesBlogs.com. And these just came off the pan, and these are much more tender. And this is the low carb Key West crab cakes uh, by um, uh, foodnetwork.com, George Stella. So um, these, uh, if you make six of these, the first recipe, um, they're about three net carbs each. If you make 18 with the second recipe, they're a little less than a carb each. So um, now, what do they taste like? Uh, now there are probably sauces that a lot of people put a sauce on them and I probably would too, but this is about the, the crab cake. Okay, so this feels a little bit dry. I wish you could see. It was a little tough for my fork to get through it. Granted, I may have overcooked it, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Good crab flavor. Mm. A little bit dry. Mm, hold on. That's good. Um, <clears throat> it definitely reminds me of these uh, salmon patties, salmon croquettes, because of the the binder. Um, because of the binder. So let's try um, the second recipe. This is low carb Key West. This did not have a binder. It's much more tender already. I can tell you, and you can see. It's mostly just crab. It was double the crab. Of course, it was a big recipe too. So these are really hot. You can see the steam coming off of them. So I'm gonna burn my face off. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Both of these are good, and I, I know a lot of people criticize and say, well, he always says both of them are good. There's a clear winner here, and um, that's the, um, the Key West, uh, George Stella's Key West Low Carb. It's much closer to what I consider a traditional crab cake. One of the best crab cakes I've ever had in my life was at a high-end restaurant. Um, and the binder was saltine crackers, and it was just crackers, Old Bay seasoning, and giant lumps of crab meat. And the second your fork hit it, it just fell apart. And it was, I remember it to this day, it was so good. Um, the binder here is too much for me. Um, 
I would maybe cut the binder in half. However, I'm gonna also say um, the egg was a little too much for me here, those two eggs. You know what, if I, I would take this recipe, the Food Network recipe, and I would cut it down to one egg and I would use some ground pork rinds. I wish I had tried that. That'll be my next video. I'm gonna try that <laughs> or a video down the way. I think uh, pork rinds give it a, a binding without it being um, almondy and you'd cut some of the egg flavor down. But this is um, a clear winner in this battle for me. Also, the Old Bay seasoning. You gotta use Old Bay. Um, I mean, or, or a Maryland style crab seasoning. Um, th these weren't spiced poorly, but to me, it's just a classic. You gotta have some Old Bay seasoning. So I did miss that in this as well. So there you have it folks, uh, low carb uh, crab cakes. Can it be done? Yeah, I might make a little bit of a re uh, um, changes up on, on both of these recipes, but it can be done. So please be sure to check out the links down below and on the video on the screen where you can go check out both of these recipes and get measurements and everything. So I wanna thank you so much. As I say all the time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. And looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate you for that. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram and Facebook, please do. I talk a little more frequently and a little more freely there. Um, it's just um, uh, high flute and low carb on both of those channels. Um, I need to give another thank you, especially to the sponsor of this video, uh, Green Chef. Guys, if you wanna support me, go support them. I said it before, sponsorships aren't why I do this, they're how I do this. So go to Green chef.com and enter code highfalutin135 and you'll get $135 off plus free shipping on your first box. And lastly, I need to thank my rock stars, my Patreon members. You're going to see their names start to scroll here. If you don't know what Patreon is, think of it as the tip jar for the internet. It lets people like you who enjoy what like people me do here on YouTube and you can give a dollar to a month just to sort of uh, keep the train on the tracks as it were. There's some exclusive content over there so be sure to check it out. It's patreon.com um, slash highfalutin low carb. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon for another low carb video.